Hello and welcome to One Step from Eden. I um, I guess a real time card base roguelike that came out by uh, Thomas Moon Kang, I think. It's a, well, it's an indie game, so developed by one person, and I guess that's just his name. You know, usually there's like a company name of like even if it's an indie game, but it's just a name. It's just, it's just Thomas, some guy named Thomas, I guess. And it looked interesting, you know. Hmm. Most people say basically it's uh, Mega Man Battle Network, but you know, with with waifus basically, you know, it's anime instead. So I guess Mega Man is also kind of anime. Alright, let's just dive right in. Uh, there's like co-op PvP. I believe it's local only. I guess you can also do remote play with Steam, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do single player. That's what I choose, single player. And I like, well, I played the demo before. Just to check it out, and you know, I was convinced it looked pretty good, so I bought the actual game, played a few hours. I actually unlocked uh, a few characters, actually. Oh, did I? Oops, did I, did I clip, the, uh, clip the mic? My game might be a little bit too high on OBS. Let me just turn it down slightly over here. But, uh, but yeah. Um, I played the demo, I played the, uh, the game for a few hours, I unlocked all the characters, or at least most of them anyway. I guess I'm missing one, the shopkeeper, which I imagine, well, there's a shopkeeper in this game. You can uh, fight her, but I don't want to. She seems scary, so that, that'll be something I'll do later on, I guess. But yeah, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of like, waifus in this game. I unlock all the characters, but the default character is Saffron. A military sci scientist, she's dead with all types of spells. So these are the spells, Thunder, Kinetic Wave, Step Slash, and Frostbolt. Her artifact is being able to resurrect once, which is default uh, artifact for her. There's also a weapon where you can like shoot things at people. And and, uh, and also like a second loadout you can get as well. I'm gonna choose default. I mean, I'm, I haven't beaten the game yet, you know? I mean, that's... I guess that's just normal for roguelikes, I feel like. I don't play a lot of roguelikes, but... I feel like that's normal. Because the game is very hard, you know? Anyway, let's dive right in the first stage. Uh, if you didn't know, you move around with the arrow keys, at least on keyboard anyway. You can also play a controller, but I prefer keyboard. It's a, uh, let's see, 4x4 grid. You're on the left, enemy is on the right. And, you know, this is the first level, so it's just really easy. It just gives me time to explain the controls if you're interested. You can press E to do auto fire. Again, I think, well, it's exclusive to her, like this type of weapon, but other characters have different weapons, I believe. And you can do spells by Q and W. And what it is, is, again, it's kind of like Mega Man Battle Network, where you have a deck of cards that represents your spells. Though I never really played, the thing is, I, ne I never really played Mega Man Battle Network, to be honest. I know about the anime, however. It was kind of like this weird spin off of, you know, the Mega Man series, where he's. Basically kind of like a Digimon. I don't know, it's something like that. Anyway. You dodge attacks, you know, and everything, and you know the enemies on the right, they also have attacks that you need to, like, not get hit by, obviously. Hmm, excuse me, pulling my throat. Um, it's pretty easy early on, but once you get halfway through, I always get stuck halfway through, I always die. But I don't know, we'll see how far we can go. I would like to, like, at least beat one run of this game, but I don't know if it'll happen anytime soon. But anyway, so, okay, so you get found remains, so this is kind of like an artifact, so it's just a passive buff. Gain shield when you shuffle, or gain flow, uh, or when you have flow, gain four spell power. So it says there's some two tips right there, so spell power gives you more damage, basically, and scale shields, just like a temporary HP on top of your normal HP. And flow is like a, a mechanic in this game where certain cards give you flow. It's like a, you know, extra level thing. I mean, there's a lot of like synergies and that sort of thing. If you know anything about any card games, I guess like Yu-Gi-Oh! or whatever, or Magic the Gathering, you'd probably be familiar with most of this stuff. In fact, it's probably like, um, I believe it's also inspired by Slay the Spire, you know? It's kind of like Slay the Spire, uh, but also some FTL, I guess. A lot of like roguelikes that came out, you know, in the past decade, I guess, is what this game is kind of inspired by as well. I think I'm gonna shield. Yeah, shield. Oh, well, okay. What I usually do in every playthrough, I don't know if this is what you should do, but uh, it seems like I always pick like a few cards and that really determines what my playthrough will be. And so, where well, the shield's up, and that's very useful. It gives you 40 shield right away. Zero cost, or rather not zero cost, well, one cost actually. Mana is one cost. Zero is the damage. Obviously, it doesn't do any damage. 
There's shield generator. I've seen people use this before. It looks interesting. You basically get infinite shield as long as the the thing you summon doesn't get hit. But the problem is I never like any of these, you know. The, the cards that, that you summon things on your side of the field, I actually kind of hate. Because they block your movement, right? And later on, especially when the boss is like... It becomes like Toho, basically. It just, they just shoot bullets everywhere. And you have to dodge everything. If your own artifact or your own like summons are in the way, it's really bad, I feel like. And there's Showdown. Everyone's Fragile. Seems like a high-risk kind of card. I believe Fragile is like a one-time debuff. Not very. I feel like not very good for the default loadout for the character for this character anyway, because you lose the debuff once you hit someone. And sometimes you know, obviously, a lot of the time you're holding down the the button to sh just keep shooting, so you lose out on the fragile debuff. Usually, you want to like hit someone with a fragile debuff with like a very high damaging spell, but it doesn't really work out most of the time. So I feel like fragile, at least for this character, is not that great. So I'm gonna take shield. So what I'm gonna do because here's your deck. Here's your deck right here. And they always like go in order in your deck and you shuffle when you use them all. You can also choose a focus as well. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do uh, Phalanx right here. There's a ton, a ton of different types of cards, I guess, you know, they represent uh, the, the, you know, well, the type of cards that you get, you know. I'm gonna choose Phalanx because that gives you shield. And I believe it's kind of, it still gives you a chance. It doesn't guarantee it, but it just gives you a better chance to get the cards that you want. So I'm gonna just do double Phalanx. You know, I'm gonna do a bit of a, like a shield deck is what I'm gonna do. I don't know if it'll work. In fact, well, I, I, I went in pretty far with shield, with shield type deck, but I always hit a wall though, around halfway point. We'll see what happens though. Yeah, waifu, anime game, real time, car based combat, and everything. Seems good, you know, there's a lot of positive Steam reviews. I feel like it's still pretty underrated though. You know, not a lot, I feel like not enough people are playing it. For how, for how interesting it is. I don't know how big, like, I don't know how popular it will be in the future, but I mean, it seems good. I mean, you know, just the fact that it has an anime art style is already pretty good. To me, anyway, it gets extra points for that. But let's see. So, you know, you fight the enemies and everything. That's the first, the first stage. Now you can go through uh, the path, right? The path to a boss or to treasures and all that sort of thing. And you're trying to, well, make it to Eden, right? From the very beginning all the way to the right. And I'm always I always get stuck around over here, so I don't know. It's gonna take a I feel like many runs before I actually beat a playthrough, but you know, the the fun is in the journey, I guess. Anyway. What I usually like to do in the beginning, you can go over here. You see the little like um actually what do you call it? A legend, I think. It shows you, you know what the icons mean and everything. Over here is a shop. Um, usually I don't like to go to the shop too early. In fact, I feel like the shop is pretty underwhelming usually for the most part. But I don't have any money anyway, so money's over here and this is your health. And health, I feel like it's a very... Um, it's a very limited resource, I feel like. You know, there's many chances to refill it, but you don't get to refill fully, right? And I, I feel like I always lose because, you know, the, the enemies always dwindle me down one by one. And then I just lose all my health by the end. And everything. I get well revived, but even that's not enough, you know? But, you know, it's because I'm still new to the game. I'm, I'm sure if you get really good at the game, you could just dodge everything and never get hit. You know, just don't get hit. But let's see. I think I want to go here because there's a mini boss right here. And usually, if you, if you, if you do a mini boss, you'll get more chances, I believe, to get an artifact. Or maybe a spell. I don't really remember, you know? Sometimes the game is a little bit vague on what rewards you get. You know, you just have to play through the game to know, I guess. But here's the distress signal. What you usually want to do here is save these people. Uh, ah, she's dead. Okay. Well, I couldn't save her. It's too bad. It's tough. You, you know, some, sometimes it's pretty easy to just save these people, but other times, you know, it's kind of like that that, that that kind of stage. That distress signal was kind of like the, um, the uh, what do you call it? The, the train tracks, you know? You like put the train track on the left or the right. You know, who do you want to save? I mean, later on, if you have certain spells, maybe I could have done it there, but like, usually you have to get better spells before you can like, be uh, be able to like save them both, you know? And sometimes, it's really annoying when the enemy's behind the hostage, or the, the person you're trying to save, and they uh, just kill them, you know, before you can even do anything. Hmm, shield catch is interesting. No, rest though, I'm, I'm trying to do a shield deck, but however, rest is pretty interesting as well, because it gives you 40 HP, which isn't a lot. 
you know, it seems like, but it, I feel like it adds up, you know? Just like in every run, you can like save a little bit for like 40 HP. It consumes, however, it says here consumes, so you can only use it once per battle, but I feel like it's worth it. And it's anchor, so it gives you like, it, it leaves you vulnerable for a little bit, but for the most part, you don't have to worry about that, unless maybe, you know, later on it gets really crazy, maybe. I don't know. Shield catch is also interesting as well, you throw, you throw a potion and then you grab it to get more shields. So it gives you, it keeps the player moving. It's an interesting design design decision, you know. Compared to like the the other spell where you, you just get shield by pressing the button, this one you actually have to catch it. So there's that. This tremor. This is more for like a a flow deck, I believe. I've heard that flow on the, in the latest update anyway. They got nerfed, so I don't know. Or nerf? Well, I don't know. It got it got changed. I guess I don't know if it's nerfed necessarily. It got changed. So maybe it's a little bit better, I don't know, because it, there's more flow, it's just... I don't know. I'm not gonna make a flow deck right now, though. That's probably, maybe, you know, another run. I think I'll choose rest. Rest seems very good, because I always, I don't have enough HP. Never. So, I'm gonna get rest. And generally, though, you don't want to take too many spells, because you want to keep your deck pretty thin, actually. You don't want to grab all of the cards. I mean, that's a newly mistake, isn't it? For, like, any kind of, like, card game. When you try to like grab all the cards and put it all in your deck, just have like a, I don't know, a really tall Yu-Gi-Oh deck that's like 500 cards. Probably, I mean, you can't do that technically, that's against the rules, but you know, you shouldn't do that because then you end up with cards that don't do anything for you, right? You want combos is what you want to do. Anyway, you took an artifact, this is what up. Game mana rege uh, regen, that's always useful. Restore what mana way you get hit. Mm, I don't know about that. I never really like any of the mana regen. Or not mana regen. Uh, I never like any of the restoration mana cards because they don't seem to do much, I feel like. You know, you, all, you, all, you can just wait for mana to come back to you. Though, I guess it depends. You know, maybe in certain builds when you have like low mana regen, you should rely on, you know, restoring your mana. Mm. Apply if one fragile army is to start a battle. That's also pretty interesting. Again, Fragile, I feel like it's not good for this build anyway. I always just pick the, you know, generic. Give me mana re regen. Just give me that. Let's move on. There's another hostage. Kinda hard to help her right now. We just rest real quick. Just to grab it. Grab the health. Uh, she's not in immediate danger, so I think it's fine for now. And I guess I've, 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 I've mentioned before, you know, all these cards have certain ranges. Some of them are pretty hard to hit with, because they have very specific ranges and everything. Other ones are not too bad. Hopefully I don't get hit. Because I, I was like aiming it backwards, because I didn't make sure I want to hit her. You can accidentally, well, sometimes purposely, you know, kill the people you're trying to save. Usually you don't want to do that, because they give you quite good rewards, such as health and items. But you could kill them, though, anyway. <laughs> Let's see, jams. Okay, jam is a very interesting type of archetype that you can do. I tried doing one. It was really interesting, actually. I got, I got a lot of jams in my deck, so you basically just do nothing. You see right here, so they do nothing. Um, they just, like, take up space in your deck, which usually is a bad thing, obviously. But there's certain types of cards where the more jams, or just in general, more spells in your cards, uh, in, cards in your deck, the more damage you do with certain types of spells, which is also interesting. But I don't think I'm doing jam. That's the thing about this game, I feel like, you know, if you're not doing a certain type of deck, you often have to skip them. But these ones, however, shield throw, very, very interesting. Because if you have if you have a lot of shield, you can do like 500 damage or something, which is a lot, I feel like. Uh, but it's very risky because if you gotta cast your shield, obviously, you gotta catch it. And it comes back. Um, and also, I don't have a lot of shield right now, but I might take it anyway because I might not have another chance as a thing. You know, that's the decision I have to make. I mean, shield catch again is just useful as well. Okay, well, it's kind of risky, it's risky right? Do I take the one that I know will be useful throughout the run, or do I take the one that uh, I don't know if we will be useful later on? It could be, it could do like zero damage to the thing if I don't have any shield at all. I have like one card, I guess. I have like, you know, shields up. I could do at least 40 damage, but that's not a lot, obviously. Hmm. Oh, I'll, t mm, oh, mm, I'll take it now. It's useful, it's just, it's risky. I have to be lucky, just just be lucky. I'm gonna take it now. Because I might not get another chance later on, you know? It's all random, so... Ow, oh, well, that's, I already lost my shoe, I can't use it. Can't use my shoe throw. See, that's, that's a waste, but... Whatever. Okay. 
annoying. This dog is always annoying because it goes back and forth. It does a melee attack, which is for the most part easy to predict, but it comes out really quickly. Let me shuffle. I don't have any shields anyway. I'm gonna get rid of this dog first. Oh, don't hit her, please. Hit me, hit me, hit me. Oh, wrong way. Oops, wrong, wrong button. Let me just hit you with that. Get my shields back. Alright, so it's just you. You just throw things, which is not too bad. I'll just do this. It's hard to hit, though. I always hate these type of, like, enemies because I can't... Because they're right behind the, the hostage, right? I have to use spells that go behind the hostage, but... I'm trying not to hit her. I guess I only have thunder, really. Thunder and... Well, thunder and... I don't know. Thunder... Let's see. And this one. Yeah, this spell. That's it. I have to keep shuffling until... This annoying enemy. Get rid of these spells. Do that. Oh, well, I don't know. I'll do that. Hit them again. Shuffle. <laughs> it's, it's, it's so silly. I always, I always hate these type of enemies that hide behind the hostage. You gotta use search spells to make sure you don't accidentally kill the hostage. I guess I did I need to? I don't know. I don't know if we need to save the hostage necessarily. So you could use money. You know, certain artifacts I feel sometimes are underwhelming because they just give you either temporary health or money. They don't give you like a long-term benefit, I feel like. So, mm, micro missiles. I mean, for the most part, it's pretty good, right? It's, you basically just hold down the button and y'all, you just do, you know, half the time you just do free damage and everything. So I feel like I'm still clipping a little bit. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Let me just turn. I feel like I, I messed my, uh, not messed up, but like, I, I fiddled with my audio last time. Maybe I should turn it down a little bit. It, it seems like I'm clipping a little. I don't want to clip. I don't want to clip too much. Let's just turn it down a little bit. Testing, 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 testing. I want to stay in the yellow. I don't want to like, you know, be red. The red. But anyway, micro missiles. Yeah, usually it's good. I Well, there's one situation where it isn't actually. Well, we'll see what if it happens, but... So, sometimes there's a situation where you don't want to be hitting the wrong enemy. Let's see. Here's banner regen, always good. Duct tape. Lose 15% uh, of, instead of 25% of your shield when you shuffle. Yeah, that's also another like aspect of the shield. Like, you don't get to keep it forever. You, when you shuffle, you do lose the shield. Or at least some of it. Not all of it, but some of it. So duct tape might be useful because our, we're doing like more of a shield kind of build. 25% uh, just also shoot a laser when cast a spell. Also pretty good for DPS. I'm gonna duct tape though because it really fits our deck, so. I'm just doing like a shield phalanx build, I guess. I mean, that's the beauty of like. Uh, I mean, in Rolex in general, you know. Everyone is just it's a little bit slightly different, I guess. And I gotta kill this chest before it goes away, yep, because there's a timer on it. And these ones, I believe, are just minerals, you know. You just shoot them and then you get free money. I believe this is money, yeah. Just one per particle. Do you for damage on contact? Usually, if you're contacting an enemy, you're getting hit. So, uh, I guess it gives a little, you do a little bit more damage though. If an enemy is trying to, because some enemies can do melee, you know, melee attacks, similar to how we, we can also do melee attacks as well. I say melee. It's not really melee. It's more like you teleport to their like side of the field, you know, and you do a move and come back. That's what it is. And some bosses, I mean, a lot of bosses do that actually. Uh, let's see. Hit that with poison. Interesting if you're doing a poison build, but not, we're not doing a poison build. Uh, underflow, pull back the enemy. A bit of damage as well. Both of these, you know, spells are pretty similar. Gain to flow. So good for flow deck, but not good for me right now. And this one moves the targets up. Low damage. I don't know how, I mean, you could do like a interesting combo maybe. You know, move an enemy up and then you can do another, another spell that often... Puts him in a better position, but I don't really have a combo like that right now, so that's probably not that's a no for me. I'm gonna skip the reward. I mean, that's what you do, right? I feel like that's what you need to do. I could be wrong, but I feel like just keeping it keeping your deck very specialized and compact is a good idea. Shields up. A little damage to shield shield throw right there. Uh, you can also do a, a little combo like this. Bam, like that. That's a little combo you can do as well. You push them back and do thunder. Maybe a little rest. Okay, and this guy, you know, spawns a little small creatures here, which is not too bad. At least in the beginning. Enemies do get harder, though, the later you go on. They, they have more complicated versions of themselves the more you go. Ooh, shield beam. Okay, that's good. 
It's either Shield Catch or Shield Beam. I feel like Shield Beam is worth it. It does 40 damage. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't do a lot of damage, but it gives you shield, so. I mean, more the more shield, the better, basically. That's why I, I think. Like DPS. It's not really DPS. Like only 40 damage. Not a lot, but. There's also Ion Cannon, obviously. If you crack the field. You can also, I mean, you can crack the field on the enemy side. You can also, there's also certain spells that crack the field on your side. Which is not great because, you know, you can't walk on it. And that really, severely limits what you can do. That's why, that's why I don't like summons. And I don't like these type of cards where you uh, get stuck on your own side of the field. I prefer being able to dodge, you know, but who knows? Maybe in the, in the future, in another run, I'll try it again. But I never like those runs because I always get stuck. There is an artifact though that allows you to walk over cracks, which is amazing. It seems OP, you know, if you have like a very like crack focused deck, I guess, crack focused deck. Um, and then you have that artifact where you just, you know, walk over the walk over the holes, then that seems like super OP. Because usually that's how you balance it, right? The idea that you sacrifice some of your tiles to do certain spells, but if you over, you know, if you don't need, you don't mean like suffer the consequences, then you just win. Anyway, the shield catch again. Shield catch keeps coming out. It seems like a very like you know common spell. I believe. Well, yeah. I think maybe the uh, I see the borders. I don't know. Maybe it's just cost, but like it seems like the borders. You know how this is like white border. Maybe it's like a common. You know, but this one is blue, so therefore it's more rare. So you imagine you get the more rare card. I think, maybe? I don't know. That's just my guess. I haven't really been paying pay attention to the, the very, like, small t details. I only play, like, a few hours. Just to see how the game is and everything. Mm. Why Why is, uh, Saffron? Why is she glowing white? I think, or not white. Glowing, um, yellow electricity. I think it's because of sh static, yeah. Dang. Here's the boss. The first boss. It's, uh, Vohayo, the emote on Twitch. She likes to summon stuff. It's annoying. Not too bad. All the bosses though are kind of scaled on the level, so first boss shouldn't be too hard, <laughs> you know. In fact, I shouldn't be getting hit in the first place, but no matter. Okay, let me oh, let me rest a little bit for some health. And hit you with the shield. Oop. Oh, get these missiles out of here. Ah, I missed. More shield. I get hit? I don't know. I don't know how to do, what to do with those missiles. Did you just walk past them or something? But this one's pretty scary. This attack. It's tougher in later in later stages, but that one you just, you know, walk past. When it comes towards you. I'll have to hit you with a shield throw. Yep. Get this out of here. Yeah, yeah just get that out of here. I, I hate- she, she summons a lot of, like, random stuff on your- side of the field sometimes. I, I hate it. Stop it. I hate anything that limits my movement, to be honest. Anything that does that, I really hate. Let's see. Oh, I missed. Oops. So, okay, and the game, again, is very hard because you have to keep track, especially later on. You know, I'm, I'm pretty much keeping up with my commentary for now. Later on, though, it's gonna be hard because you have to pay attention on your side of the field as well as their side of the field and... You know what's going on, and obviously the exclamation marks. Again, not too bad at the beginning, but later on, it gets really tricky actually. Because sometimes they trick you, right? Because you you, you think there's an there's an attack going on a certain side of the field, but actually it goes somewhere else. It gets really quick. But um, let's see. So what you can do after fighting the boss, you know, Hazel, I can like murder her and everything. You can do like a genocide run. Uh, I'm not gonna do that because. At least for a beginner, there's no point in doing so unless you're going for a particular route, I guess. You know, I guess you may get experience, I guess, for killing her, but usually it's not worth it for at least a beginner, like me. So I'm just going to move onwards, you know? You can just spare her, basically, and go somewhere else. So here's an ice stage, and here is, I guess, a ruin stage. And so I think I'm going to move to the ice stage. Uh, hello, Shallow Card. Uh, whoa, what game is this? Well, it's One Step from Eden. One Step for Eden. Kind of like, uh, again, like it's a, uh, you, if you know about Mega Man Battle Network, it's kind of like that. It's a little indie game that came up pretty recently, so I'm playing it right now. It's not completely well, like I play a few hours already, but I'm still not great at this game. It's a really hard game, I, I'm gonna say that a million times. It's gonna get harder later on. I was gonna say, I'm, I'm probably gonna do like a, a lot of runs, but I want to eventually beat this game. Oh, 
I, I didn't mean to hit her. You're not, you're not supposed to hit the nurse, lady. It gives you health, so... I mean, I didn't get... Uh, I don't lose any health right now, so it doesn't matter, I guess, but... I don't want to hit her. Yeah, stop. Uh, stop it. Okay, fine. Uh, do you customize your waifu to fight? Well, I mean, sort of. I mean, in terms of attacks, you know, that's the whole point of the game. You can, like, customize your cards and your decks and everything. Um, as you go, you get different cards and you, you build a certain type of deck. Like I'm doing right now, I want a shield kind of deck, so I want to pile up a lot of shields and everything, it seems like. Because that's the first cards I got. There's also a kunai deck you can do. I think that was been nerfed, though. Used to be kunais were pretty powerful because it adds, like, kunai in your deck and... You can keep throwing certain artifacts when you consume a card, you do extra damage. And there's minigun. You just do a minigun. There's a trinity as well. You activate three types of trinity cards, you do extra damage. I'm gonna do counter strike though. Counter strike, not the not the game. It protect but also attack. Also, there's a lot of little flavor text by the way at the bottom. There's just a bunch of memes. Very memey game, I feel like. It protects, but it also an attack. And counter strike. I mean if fire the shot gives you a shield, you know, all around just great. I think it's a pretty good card. And also in terms of customizing as well, I believe there's also costumes you can get as well. Because there's different characters that you unlock based on the bosses you fight. And also costumes, I don't know how to unlock them yet. But I think, you know, you can also just get skins for them too. Um, is this on Steam or console? I believe, yeah, it's on Steam. I think it's, I bought it for like around 22 bucks. It was 22 Canadian though, so more than usual. And I believe, is, is it on Switch? I want to say it's, it is. I think it's on Switch. Maybe. But I got it on Steam anyway. Yeah. Came up pretty recently. It looked, I mean, it looked pretty good, so that's why I'm playing it. Let's see. Oh, okay. So so there's three ways to go again. I mean, usually there's always three ways to go, again, I guess, in the beginning of the stage. There's a dark stage. So I don't like... I don't know. These dark stages are very scary. Because basically it makes the whole stage a lot harder. And you go in, like, dark mode, basically. And... Well, let's try it out. I don't know. I'm probably I'm gonna die, but let's try it out. Here's dark mode. It's basically like hell mode, I guess, sort of. And like another kind, another type of like roguelike, maybe. It's like a much harder version. Not super hard because we're probably still at the beginning of the game, so it's not super hard or anything. But I believe this makes the boss harder as well if you go through the dark, uh, dark stages. It's not great. Ah, uh, mom, my, my friend died. Oh well. I mean, I didn't. Uh, well, I was gonna say I didn't need her health, but actually I do now. I lost some health, so now I need health. Oh well. I have no idea. Let's see. There's smog, and that's again good for poison build. But you know, I'm not doing poison. And that's the thing. I feel like that's one criticism I have this game. Maybe. Well, maybe I have a couple. <laughs> Even though it seems pretty, it seems pretty good so far. Uh, sometimes you just don't need the cards, you know. So you just get a lot of opportunities to get cards, but they just don't fit your deck, so you just don't get them, even though they're interesting. But, uh, Chill Catch, I've been ignoring that for so long, I should probably get it. And Orbital Beam, I saw that before, I think. I don't like Orbital Beam, though, because there's a bit of a delay when you lob the projectiles. I'm gonna get Shield Catch. It was more shield, just stack all the shields. Uh, do a Soul Cross? Hmm, I don't know what Soul Cross means. Is that reference to another game? Maybe? Which reminds me, actually, because we all, people always compare this game to uh, Mega Man Battle Network. Again, I never played it myself. Oh, okay, this one. No. Uh, ah, okay. Well, you have to take the damage, I guess, to save her. I think it's worth it for... Well, I don't know if it's worth it, actually. Oh, well. It's worth it to save a human life. Maybe. Okay, Nubis gives you poison. You know, that's just easy poison. Try shot is Trinity, so you do tri three of them. You do extra damage. Or... Activate a special effect, and this one's like just like a diagonal type spell. Which, by the way, if enemies use these, I, I hate it when enemies use these because it, it breaks my brain. I don't know how to dodge these for some reason. But I'm gonna skip. Uh, but yeah, I was gonna say, like, it reminds me of. You know, it's not exactly the same, but also what really reminds me of is um, Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. You know, that's what it really reminds me of, even though they're not the same at all, really. But. They have a similar mechanic where you have like a, a deck of cars and they're using them to attack basically, you know? And you use up your cards, you shuffle, and then you use up again. In, in Chain of Memories though, you can like combine certain combos to make like a super attack, you know? And, and I remember that being a thing. Though I played it on uh, Game Boy Advance, you know? There's also one, there's like a 3D version of Chain of Memories, but I played the original one. 
and you know I, li I liked it you know because it was like very interesting at the time using cards to attack it wasn't like a thing or at least very common in a lot of games during that time yeah I never played Battle Network I saw the anime I guess when I was really young I never played the actual game this is my first time playing the actual like Battle Network kind of game I guess let's see here's some artifacts max mana I mean, it's useful uh, 50% chance to create a frost explosion, frost damage is dealt, not really a frost deck, so I can't really much use that. A merit badge, gain one spell power when you save a hostage. Seems useful, it can ramp up if you save a lot of hostages, but as you can see, I tried saving a hostage that last time and it worked so well. Um, yeah, I got, uh, I'll try merit badge, I don't know if it'll be worth it, but we'll see, I guess. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, and I, I don't know if I mentioned before, like, if you spare the bosses, they do help you out. You know, they heal you up and they help you as well. I mean, that's another benefit. Uh, certain battles, they just randomly just help you, uh, depending on what kind of boss they are. Sometimes they just, you know, sometimes they give you money, sometimes they give you, like, extra buffs or everything. I feel like the, the character that, that we have, not that we spared, she kind of sucks, to be honest. Maybe in certain types of situations, she's useful. But for the most part, I feel like she's not that great because she just summons a gun either on our side of the field or the enemy side of the field. But usually, it always gets in the way, you know, because I'm always like shooting at it anyway. So it just blocks the enemy. I don't know. It blocks my shots. Um, let's see. So there was another diagonal beam. Saw that before. This one's uh, getting shield. That's interesting. It does give you shield, but it makes you stop moving, which is not great. It gives you a lot of shield, so it might be worth it. Well, that icon looks familiar, by the way. I don't know what that icon reminds me of. Because, you know, the shield thing. I don't know. Help, I'm stuck. No. Here's fro a Frost Barrage. That's also Frost, but that's, that's mostly for a Frost build, though. I think I'm gonna try to I'm just gonna stack all the shields. This is very similar to one of my uh, runs before. I did I did a very similar run before where I just, I just stacked shields all day. And I, I got through a lot of... Uh, well, I, I don't say a lot, but like... At least the best I did was with the shield build, so we'll see, I guess. Okay, and this is dark version, by the way. I don't know, in dark version, when you go to the dark path, everyone's just evil now. So, like the shopkeeper, for example, she has red eyes. It's very evil. It's late. Very dark. But you can buy stuff in the shop. Let's see. You can buy spells. Boomerang. Hmm, I right now. Gun turret. I don't like summoning stuff. Some artifacts you can buy. In dark mode, I believe, she takes her HP. Yeah, instead of money, she takes her HP. I guess she's evil. I don't know. Does that. Uh, shield battery. Hmm, interesting. It's okay, so a matter regen. I mean, it's just used one general. Adrenaline, if below 50% health. I mean, uh, that's that's likely. You know, usually in most of my runs, I always just end up low health anyway. A shield battery, though, I think it's pretty, you know, not great. I feel like the regeneration is pretty low, but... Just having a little bit of shield every time to mitigate the damage a little bit might be useful. Especially in the beginning, you know, when you don't have any shields at all. So I think I'm gonna do that. It takes up some health, but I think it's worth it. I'll be looking out for your dead body. Hmm. Anyway. There's also some packs as well. I never choose them. I mean, it makes the game harder, basically, so that you get a benefit later on. But I never feel it's worth it. I don't know. Let's see, we have 140. I think, well, let's see. Yeah, removing spells is pretty, I feel like it's pretty important. Because, for example, like, Frostbolt isn't really useful to me because I can't use any Frost stuff anyway. So I'm going to remove it. I have, we have one in the very beginning. By default, they always give you at least one. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to remove one Frostbolt. Goodbye. And let's see. Anything else? Anything else now? Shields, basically. The rest I'm going to keep. Step Slash, Kinetic Wave. Step Slash... Is interesting. Sometimes you can actually avoid certain attacks with Step Slash. I remember the demo. I think that's how you like unlock the extra boss or the final boss of that game because there's an unavoidable attack that happens in the demo. I remember you actually fight the shopkeeper in the demo, and you have to do like a Step Slash to avoid her ultimate attack in order to like move on to the final stage. But I never find much use for it to be honest. You know, there's never like a situation where I really need Step Slash. Maybe in the very particular situations, but otherwise. I feel like it's not really not that necessary. You can just move out of the way usually for most attacks. I mean, obviously, if you're really good. I'm not really good yet, though, but it's also harder just to remember to even use it. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to stop rambling and just remove it, basically. 
I'm gonna keep. I always try to keep kinetic wave and thunder though, because you always can always do a combo with it. You know, go to kinetic wave and then you do thunder. You push them back and then use thunder exactly is how you do damage from that combo. You spend more, but I don't want to, you know, use up too much of my HP. And upgrade spells, I might as well. I never like, up, you know, I feel like in other games, maybe it's because of Slay the Spire. I never played it too much, but I've seen footage of it. But in Slay the Spire, when you, like, upgrade a card, you get a really good benefit, you know? Usually you double its effectiveness. But upgrades in this game, not so much, you know? You just get, like, a very slight random benefit that's, like, not really exclusive to the card. So that's another criticism. But maybe not really a criticism, it's just something I wish... It's just better for me because I suck at the game, but uh, I wish the upgrade system was just more coherent. Because sometimes you get an upgrade that doesn't really help you at all, you know, on the card. Sometimes, for example, if you upgrade Shield Catch and then there's an upgrade to like, uh, on hit, add Fragile, you know? And as, as it turns out, it just adds Fragile to yourself, so that doesn't help you. <laughs> well, let's see, what do I want to upgrade? I guess I'll upgrade. I mean, Counter Strike is probably the most damaging card. So I should, well, this Thunder as well. But I also want to. Yeah, I want to focus on shields though. Maybe I'll give you extra shields. I don't know. That'd be great. One flow, not really a flow deck. Just a mana cost. Not that great, but at least it costs one, I guess, instead. The fire shot said bonus for you damage, minus damn damage on hit. What do you mean by that? Actually? I don't know what it means by that. Bonus forty damage. Like, do we lose HP? Is that what it is? I don't know, I'm looking at the- because there's a preview right here in the top. I think that's new. It wasn't available when it was the game was in early access. They show you previews, what happens when you use a card. Try to look at Is it- do we lose HP when we hit? Or something? I don't know, I don't understand. I really don't. It says bonus 40 damage minus di da 10 damage on hit? I don't really understand. What does that mean? Like you hit it with- I don't know. You hit it with it anyway, right? Well, assuming you lose HP... Well, assuming you lose- or rather, you, you, hit, you hit yourself, basically, if that happens. It doesn't- really, it doesn't, um... Uh, it's not uh, a big detriment. Because you get shield anyway, I feel like, so it's worth it. So, hope, uh, assuming I'm right, so instead of getting 50 shield, Practically, you're gaining 40 shield, basically. So it's worth it for the extra damage, I feel like. So I'm gonna do that. Anyway, it took a long time to decide that, I guess. I guess that's it. You know, it's funny because you have to press the button, she's like, whoop. You know, as soon as you press the button, she goes up to you. Whoop. 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 Right before closing. I guess she's not very happy because it's dark. You can also shoot her. I don't want, I never, I have never done that yet. In, in, uh, in a proper game anyway, because I don't want to... It's a lot of HP, and I don't want to, like, feel her wrath, you know? She seems scary. And then, oh, I might as well rest for extra HP. Yep. More shield? More shield? I just have too much shields. Just maximum shields. Okay, just, just shoot you. It gets really crazy though, if you can like not get hit and just stack those shields, you get like a lot of shield. And when you shield bash, you can even like one shot a boss, you know? If you do it properly. So revenge, the last target that hit you is auto attack, which is interesting. Just free 100 damage, for the most part. Um, uh, zigzagging shot. Or north wind, five shots on the top of the enemy field, pushes targets down, and removes their shield. Interesting. It says 100 times 4, but each... Isha only hits 100 anyway. It's basically, yeah, well, it's basically guaranteed actually. Guaranteed, guaranteed damage. Like, Revenge, North Wind, both guaranteed damage. And Revenge is not very, not that useful if you don't get hit, but I mean, for the most part, you will get hit. Especially when you fight bosses. There's just one enemy anyway, usually. So you're, you're gonna get to the free damage anyway. Hmm. You know, North Wind costs 3, which is, might, might not be what I want. It does good damage, good guaranteed damage, but. It might cost too much, because I won't be able to use more shields. Revenge is, seems useful. It's just free damage, basically. You know, one free 100 damage, free good DPS in that case. I feel like the um, the golden number here is 100 damage usually. So, should I take it? Yeah, I'll take it. I'm gonna take it, actually. Might be a bad idea, but it seems worth it. 
All right, here's Ice Sword Lady. I mean, she's not too bad, but I always get mixed up sometimes. Here's the free damage. Especially when she does the, you know, the sword thing where she like hits three swords and then the fourth sword, you know, this one basically. You always have, to, especially later on, she tricks you, you know, because the swords come back. Let me just heal as well. Give me that. Oh, ah, that sucks. Especially when I'm like on the other side of the field, you know, I can't really dodge properly from like that. Got more shields. Ah, uh, let's see. Not just shield, because the, the thing about shields though is that it's fun to just tank all the damage. It's great. I love just not getting. I love getting hit and doing it do nothing. <laughs> it's great. So I guess sometimes you sometimes maybe I don't know. I, I can't tell. Sometimes I'm thinking maybe the damage goes through the shields anyway. So it's not like, it's not like you're invincible. But for the most part, you are. I guess most attacks get blocked by shields. However, like that got my shield. Oh, this one, this attack I hate. I hate that attack. It's hard. I don't know. For some reason, it breaks my brain for that one. Obviously, you have to avoid it. Okay. But I never, I can never avoid it properly. I really pay attention. Ah, I always, for some, because it's DDR, you know. I always go to the direction the 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 thing is lighted up on. For some reason, but that's wrong. You're not supposed to do that. Idiot. Okay. I still I don't I think I still got hit anyway, but whatever. One more time, hit her one time. Yep, yeah. okay, got her. Yeah, this is a, I believe this is the second stage. Still not too hard. It's funny how her swords are in the air. It's frozen. Um but obviously I'm gonna spare her. I'm gonna move on. Alright, I'll chill. It's very edgy. When she kills me, you know, she always says, Nothing personnel, kid. <laughs> She's that type of character, I feel like. Okay, this one... Oh, this one's... You know, it's funny how, like, this... This, like, enemy is just weak, I guess. I guess for, for this build. Because that enemy, the little, like, weird ghost teddy bear or whatever... Um, has, like, a high defense. So any spell that you do on that enemy they will do one damage, usually. But if you have, you know, this character, she can just shoot it down pretty easily. So it's not that hard, really. I imagine for other characters it might be hard because you can't just spam like a, an attack for free. But uh, Glass of Fire, Fragile, not really good for me. Swipe, if you're making a kunai build, might be good, but I'm not making a kunai build right now. And uh, Mana Transfusion, Restore 5 Mana. St again, getting 5 mana or whatever, I don't feel it's really worth it because you're never in a situation where you need like maximum mana right now, you know? And maybe, again, a very specific build, but I don't, you know, usually I don't have that build, so I never really pick these type of cards. I'm gonna skip it. Alright, let's go. What's next? Um, Distress Signal, Mini Boss. I do want to save hostages for more spell power, that's my artifact. Hmm. If I go to shop, is to like remove cards. I don't really remove cards right now necessarily. I could, but it's not really necessary. So I'm thinking maybe the stress signal. Assuming I save them. Sometimes I can't save them. It's hard. You know, sometimes. They're in situations where it's just not very likely because you don't have the right cards to save them. Always wonder. There's a hazard. Mini boss might be good. Mm, I'm gonna save them. If possible. There's nothing. I can also just shield up, make sure I have enough shield to block. Okay, go. Alright, I'll DPS it. Okay, flame damage from the oh, Not really good for me, but I'll take it anyway. So, again, sometimes the artifacts just don't do nothing for you. I feel like, I don't know, maybe that's part of the point of the game, I guess, but it just feels like the artifacts, you know. They just don't do anything, right? Because you're not—you don't have the, the certain type of cards that you need. Uh, okay, add kunais again. If you have a kunai decks, very good. But I don't have kunais. Breaking throw tiles this is if you're yeah, you're focused on making a tile breaking kind of deck, which I don't have. And meditate, restore to mana. Still not really good for me. Or I still don't know how to use 
any kind of card that restores mana. It doesn't seem all that useful. You imagine in like a, um, you know, typical RPG, maybe that'd be useful. Like mana is like limited, I guess, but it, it refills pretty quickly, so you kind of don't need it. Usually. Okay, there's a bit of a medic there. Or medic box, I would like to break it for free mana, please. Or not mana, free HP, rather. I don't... <laughs> Did I get it? I, I didn't pay attention actually, I was looking at my cards. I don't know, maybe I missed it. Let's see, I gotta be careful though, because there's this, you see that thing on the right? This little like, jar, I guess? If you break it, it'll summon an enemy, which is what you don't want, but... Might be ha I might have to anyway. Stop it. Oh, well, no, that's dumb. I threw at nothing. Oh, I gotta kill it again, because it'll respawn if I... Oh, okay, I already killed the enemies, never mind. I had the revenge card. Anyway, Mini Thunder. It's like worst version of the Thunder we have. Zero cost, but I don't think it was worth it at all, really. Fracture, Fire Walk, uh, Fire a Walk? No, Fire a Rock. Which is good for a flow deck. I don't have a flow deck. Poison, good for a poison deck. No, I don't have a poison deck, so again. You just end up in a situation where you don't need any of the cards. You know, I'm looking for one card that's really good, you know, for like a shield deck. Is the one that you can consume, but gives you like a ton of shield, which I really want. Okay, so mana regen, just normal random, or mana jam, but as jam cards, which I don't really want. Or oh, deal 20 damage when you shuffle, which is interesting. Mm, do I need more mana, or do I need, or well, should I do more damage? I feel like I should do more damage, you know, because I don't have a lot of DPS, to be honest. So I'm gonna do that. I tend to shuffle anyway because I use up all my shield cards and nothing else to do, so I shuffle. Okay, this one's dangerous, I feel like. There's that freaking yeah, there's a... Uh, uh, I gotta, like, just kill, please. Gotta, ah! This one, I don't like this one. This one has, like, the missile that will freaking murder you. Die, 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 when that missile hits, everyone basically dies. Or at least you take a lot of damage anyway. Which is not great. Alright, so this one you get a free upgrade, but you know, usually the upgrades are not that great. And sometimes maybe. It's really good for a certain card, but it's rare. Orbital Beam. Hmm, I don't like it really. Trinity Cast, not really useful for me right now. And Undertow, still not really useful for me right now. So I guess that's it. I mean, just skip the rewards again. It's just a sh it's such a shame, you know, you just skip all the rewards because they just never apply to you, so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, oh, you can also kill that bunny, by the way. I believe the bunny, I don't know where I heard it, but like, if you kill that bunny, it basically makes the game harder, but you get more loot, basically, but I don't want to, so goodbye. <laughs> I don't want to kill that bunny. Oh, well, thank you. I used the thing at the wrong time, I shouldn't have done that. Usually the guys with spears are not too bad. They just go up and down and do like a thrust, so... Not that hard to like... Avoid them. Oh, I did the thing the wrong time. That's what happens, I just keep doing stuff in the wrong time. Like, unnecessary damage, but I guess that's the game. Here you go. So far, not too bad. Still pretty high health for the most part, so... Because of the shields and everything, it mitigates a lot of damage that I would be taking because I'm dumb. But, uh, Poison Dart? Nope. Sludge Bomb? Really? I, I, I did a Poison Run before, it was really good, but... I mean, obviously I can't use it right now because I don't have Poison. Uh, Upwind. No, not really useful for me right now, only does 50 damage, so I'm gonna skip, I'm gonna skip, skip, skip. I wish it was like a... I don't know, does it give you more money if you skip? I wish it did, you know, maybe it did. Like, I wish it, it gives you something, you know, if you're gonna skip the cards, at least. Any health? Does that do damage? I don't know. I didn't get hit yet, so I didn't... the revenge thing, I don't know if it worked. Oh, okay, this one... I missed. Oh, 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 oh. This mage is not too bad, to be honest, I feel like. But she, sometimes she gets you in situations where you're kind of stuck and you can't do anything. But get hit. But not too bad for the most part. I 
Especially if she just keeps doing this move, it's not too hard to avoid. Ah, oh, I missed. I lost on my shield too. Whoops. I remember this attack. This attack was used in the demo, actually. I remember that one. So that was pretty easy to avoid. Just go to situ just go to where, you know, the beams aren't. I hate her I hate her diagonal weapons. I don't know, I just never it breaks my brain. I can never avoid the ones where the projectiles are moving diagonally. Now this one could cast up here. Oops. Oh, get out of the way. Over the shield. Shield up. I missed. I mean, the best time to attack her, I mean, for most bosses anyway. You have to wait for them to, you know, to attack and then stay once in one place. She's pretty predictable, you know, in terms of, like, hitting her. Because she always stops after doing her spell. It's usually when you can't get to the tile, you know, get to the spot where you need to be, that kind of sucks. Mm -hmm. I miss because as I'm aiming. Sometimes I just throw out spells. I'm gonna be honest. Sometimes I just throw out the spells, even though I don't pay attention to where it goes. I'm trying. To, I'm looking at the left side of the screen, not really the right. I'm just trying to survive, you know. For the most part. Bam. Okay. Ow. Well. I'm gonna move on. Goodbye. You know, she looks a lot older in her sprite version. I saw, I mean, most of the character art, they look a lot younger, actually, in their character art than they are in uh, actual game, I feel like. I don't know. Okay, and then kill you. Oh. Give me my health. We're gonna go back to uh, high, pretty high health again. Let's see, Anubis gives you... Pretty good spell if you have a poison deck, because it just applies poison, but I don't need it. Minigun, Trinity, not good for me. And Jam Cannon. Good if you have a Jam deck. Come on and slam, and welcome to the Jam. A lot of, again, a lot of memes. Um, but I don't, I, I can't use it right now. I remember using a Jam Cannon deck before, it was pretty good. You can do like a, a lot of damage in one hit. But at the same time though, because, because you have a lot of jams in your deck, and like, you have to shuffle every time. Or you could like spend all your jams, but that also takes time as well. It's very much high risk kind of kind of deck. I feel like because often, sometimes you might spend a lot of time just shuffling your cards just to get the card you need. Max mana, deal tap damage to enemies when you get when you get hit, or game flow. Yeah, throwing mail will work because I have a lot of shields, right? So I don't mind getting hit too much anyway. Let's see. Over here, distress signals. Two distress signals over there. I mean, there's a lot of distress signals. So there's a potential because I have the merit badge to get a lot of spell power. So I might consider that actually. A lot of shields as well, so I can do this. Come on, please kill. Ah, I got hit anyway. Oh well. Can I rest now? Okay. Well, I want to do. I want to do my rest thing before uh, we moved on. I believe, um, and we, you can only do the the rest. Hard, I guess you can only heal in the middle of combat. Which is weird, but you know, you can't do it after the combat. It doesn't apply. Swords of Revealing Light! You know that that reminds me of. Um interesting, but I don't think it's useful right now for me anyway. I mean that does a lot of damage, but again, it's good for a Trinity card, not for me. And Mini Thunder, not that useful. I'll move on. I'm just looking for that one shield card that gives you a lot of shields. Oh, protect you as well. I, I'm just putting out more shields, that works. I'm literally protecting them because by, I'm putting out shields. Miracle. Small chance to deal 999 damage when you hit a target one time. Whoa, okay. That's interesting. I don't know how, how small is it? Is it like 1% chance? Is it the same uh, rate as getting a SSR in Fate Grand Order or something? You know? Just instantly just beat a boss. Or something. That'd be great. But I don't, I don't imagine that'll be happening anytime soon. I don't know. It might just like activate on like a very, you know, weak mob or something. Uh, summon a mana crystal, draws for mana. Again, I, I mean, it's just twofold. I don't like summoning stuff on my side of the field. And also, I don't need mana. 
you know? Because I never find a way to use it anyway. Because often, when, especially when I'm fighting bosses, you know, I'm always just moving around and waiting for when for the opportunity to actually, you know, shoot my, my spells. So often I'm not even in the the right opportunity to even use my attacks, right? So in that sense, I don't really need the mana right away. Uh, booster shot is, I don't know if it's interesting. I mean, it's for a poison deck as well. I don't know if it's worth it because apparently it heals. There's, there's, I believe there's two cards, probably more. You unlock more cards as you play the game, but um, this one heals the target for 100 HP. I don't know if that is worth it, but it also applies 80 poison, I guess. I don't know. How does that work? Is it worth it? Because it seems like it does 80 damage or maybe a little bit more. I don't know. I'm not really sure how poison works. I mean, poison in the sense that, um, it, like, you know, gives them a poison status. And then it counts down, and then it does damage, right? And obviously you want to, like, stack poison if you have a poison deck. But it seems like it's not worth it, because it seems like a net negative, right? Overall, they get 20 HP, right? Unless you shoot, you know, when they're, like, have maximum HP, obviously. But that's usually never the case, especially with bosses. You know, you're always doing damage anyway. You don't want them to have more health. That makes no sense to me. I don't know. I don't, I don't understand booster shot. Maybe in a particular type of build, I don't know. And jam cannon. Not doing a jam deck, but come on and slam. Welcome to the jam. All right, let's move on. All right. The hostage. I would like to save the hostage, but it doesn't seem <laughs> um, likely. Yeah, I think she's gonna die because there's too many things going on. I shot the wrong thing. Let me just heal real quick. Ah, oh, well that negated my heal by getting hit by the weird snake thing. Stop it! I hate the snake thing. They, they go really fast. Oh, the snake. Oh, out of the way. I'm rooted, so that's why I can move. Obviously. Okay, that works. Oh, actually, I did save her in the end. And that works, because I have the merit badge. I miss some broken tile. I don't have, you know, broken tile kind of deck. Pretty low. Reduce next shuffle time by one second. Maybe useful if you shuffle a lot. In fact, I do have a few cards where if you shuffle, you know, I guess 20 shield. And rifle, rifle, I do 20 damage, you know. Might be useful, but only does 20 damage and might reduce my overall DPS, which is not really what I want. Usually, again, you want to keep your cards pretty small so you can grab the cards that you want. And up win, not really useful for me. Pretty low though, I mean it has a golden border, so it's kind of like, you know, it's pretty rare. I don't know, should I take- I don't know if it's worth it, right? I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know what's good or not. But I think I want to like stack shields, I don't want to like preload, you know? Do shuffle time. And I guess if you shuffle a lot, I don't know. Hmm. Ah, let's go wars. I don't know, I just know, I don't know. Let's see. All right, what's next? Good to go here. I'll go here for health. I'll be useful. I'll go here for the stress signal. Probably the stress signal. For a chance to save someone, save a life. Also, I keep doing fun. I keep doing thunder. I don't know. This it happens. I just I never remember that actually thunder is very like hits a very specific spot. It doesn't hit from left to right because I'm just so used to sometimes cards or certain spells that hit from left to right. So you don't have to worry about aiming it, you know. But then you you actually do so. Okay, that, that artifact doesn't really help me, but oh well. Uh, Tremor, fire rock, crack adjacent tiles, or on flow, fix the adjacent tiles. Again, you have a flow crack deck, I guess. Very good. Uh, when this hits, give the target 180 shit. I don't know what this is. Again, another weird card that just benefits the enemy. I, ha I haven't seen a card that you would want. I don't know, I guess it does, I guess it does 200 damage. Hmm. I guess, yeah, if you have, um, what is it, what is, it? What is that card? There's, there's, I think there's a few cards where you can, like, basically pierce the shield. So maybe if you, if you have, um, the piercing attack, you give the, you give, you, you give the enemy, you know, sh uh, a shield, but then you get rid of it right away. So optimally, you do 200 damage overall, I guess. I don't know. But I don't have that card, so it's not really worth it for me. Englave, missile balance between enemies. Hmm. I mean, it says here 20 damage, but how much does it hit, you know? 
Missile bounces between 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Like, when does it stop? I don't know. It doesn't say. I wish it would tell us. Sometimes it says, like, times 4, times 5. I guess it depends. You know, Glaive, I guess, it bounces between enemies, so... But still, I wish it would tell me, like, how, how much would it bounce? If it does, like, pretty good damage, you know, I might take it, but I don't know how much damage it does, even. You know, it's hard to tell. It's like, maybe 5 or 6 times? Might do, like... You know, 120 damage maybe? I don't know. I'm not gonna take it though, because I don't know. I don't know what it does. I wish, I mean, that might be a bug actually. It might give, I wish it would tell me like how much it would bounce. Anyway. Distress. Alright, more distress. Distress is very, dis oh, okay. Oh, actually that's good because, you know, my friend, she put the thing there. My friend. So in that case, you know, in that situation, um, it is nice that she put the, the 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 summon in front of the enemy. It like stops him from killing the hostages. But game max HP when you say the hostages, well, interesting though. Often you know max HP though. I mean obviously it's great, but I never I'm never in a situation where I am max HP, especially later down the line in the run. Cold medicine, another weird thing. Where you like you heal the enemy, but you apply frost. I guess it does overall more damage, but still is weird. Shadow Shadows on here, dealing 60 damage to three enemies. So this one says three enemies. So, I mean, that makes more sense. I don't know, do the other ones say how many enemies it bounces? I don't know, I'm not sure. But, this, is that. this one summons tiles, and then they explode. Again, I don't really like, well, it might be useful, but I don't I don't like summoning in general. I hate, I hate summoning. They either get in the way or, I mean, they get in the way, basically. They either get in the way of my person, or they get in the way of my shots. So... Charles Shadow on his hit. I don't know, not worth it really. Time for the mini boss. Alright, this is when it gets a little bit harder. This one's a shield girl. She's pretty cool. Oh, made that for no reason. I accidentally hit double tap. Most of her attacks are not too bad, though. Later on, though, she's... Especially in later stages. I mean, I guess maybe it's this stage right now. I don't know. I'm not sure. Pretty hard to dodge, but not usually on that hard. I got hit, though. Especially because she summons a minion as well. I don't like the fact she summons a minions. She summons more minions? Okay, I didn't realize that. More health, please. Or not health, but like shields, I guess. Gotta dodge that by, you know, moving past the tiles while she does the little attack there. Ow. I don't want to get hit. Ow. I should do that next. More shields, please. I mean, if you have the if you have the, the skill that pierces shields, that would be great for this fight, but I don't have that, I guess. Damage here. Because yeah, she always has that attack where she just puts up her shields and you can't really do much damage. While oh, she's doing that, you gotta wait for her to like shoot that shield away. Just like my well, just like me, I have the shield bash, I guess. A shield throw, was it called? I don't know. Ah, oh, oh, I missed the shield that well. Ah, oh, I threw the shield at nobody. Whoops. That's not what you need. I mean that's the biggest like Risk with the shield throw. If you just miss it with it, and then you just lose all the shields, which is not great. I missed. Give me a lot of shields. I also hate her diagonal projectiles. They suck. But this attack isn't again isn't so hard. Let's do that. Did a lot of damage there with the shield bash. Sorry, me everyone. I remember losing her before. I, I think it depends on which difficulty you're on, like if you're in the very beginning. But I remember her like actually sparing me, you know, when she killed me, she actually said, Hey, you know, here you go. And then she just went somewhere else, you know, she didn't kill me. So I I mean I have a bit of bias. I feel like it happens to every boss, but I feel I feel like she has a bias where she actually she's actually pretty nice, you know? She has a shield and everything. She doesn't want to kill anyone really. She doesn't want to anyway. Let's go. Uh, 
I have a, I have certain characters I hate facing against, but you have to fight them anyway eventually, so might as well do it now, I guess. I recognize this one. And the world could use more people like you. Very nice. She's very nice. I like her. Oh, mines. I hate mines. I mean, yeah. I, I, it's Gunner, yeah. I hate Gunner, by the way. Gunner is my most hated character and boss and everything. I just don't like his face. I hate everything about him. And, well, it's probably is, is the reason because I keep dying to him. We'll see what happens. Uh, maybe I'll learn his patterns by now, but I think this is, this is gonna be the run ender. This is the Gunner stage, which I really hate. Uh, volley, I mean, that's good. You got a lot of structures, but it, again, it's like, I don't know. You gotta summon a lot of structures at once, and then you do volley. But summons to me just never worth it, unless you play uh, maybe a very specific character that gives the structures. Like, I, w I would like to see, like, um, I don't know, I don't know if there's an artifact or maybe it's just not even possible, but I would like to see some some kind of ability where you can just move past your structures. Because I feel like the biggest weakness of those structures is that they just block your way, right? So when you're fighting a boss and they do a special ability and you, you can't move out of the way because your things are in the way, so you get, you just get damaged and die, so you can't do much about your structures. Uh, jam Slam, come on and slay, welcome to the jam. I mean, yeah, that's, that's the two cards right there, the two memes. Jam Slam and Jam Cannon. Um, and here's Fragile. Again, not great for this build, so I'm just gonna move on. Let's go. More Distress. Put a shop as well. I don't need shop. I'm doing more Distress. Yeah, just build up that spell power. Assuming it works out, I don't know. Ow. Took us a bit of damage, but I think it's worth it. Overall, it's worth it, I feel like. Let's see. Hired Gun. Interesting move. You know, if you... If you... You can shoot it, lose two money. But if you kill them, you gain four money. You know? Basically, net positive two money. But, uh... It requires a lot of timing, I feel like. You know? You, you, I mean, it does 100 damage pretty good. You gotta make sure you kill with it, however, so... Virus spell. Duplicate this spell. Okay, it's kind of like, well, it reminds me of Yu-Gi-Oh actually. Wasn't there like a, a card that Kaiba had? It was like a virus spell or something? I don't know. Like it duplicates it in your deck, but it was actually a bad thing for the enemy. Anyway, that that's good if you have like, if you want like a really big deck, I guess. A really big deck. There's a card where like, the more cards you have in your deck, the more damage you do. If you have that card, I guess virus spell is really good, but for me, not so much. Entango, root the enemy. Eh, not that useful for me, does a little damage, but, you know, I guess it's to keep it one spot, but it's not really worth it for me. Hard gun, though, I never noticed how much damage, I mean, it does 100 damage, you lose some money. Hmm. I, I don't wanna, again, I don't wanna, like, bloat up my, my deck if I don't need to, right, so I'm just gonna move on. It's good damage, but, and I don't really need the money, I, I can just, like, yeet the money away, it doesn't matter to me. Oh, I've noticed I have, I have a halo for some reason. I don't know, I'm an angel. Maybe because I save so many people. Okay, here's another one. Shields up. Shields up! Oh, miss with the... I keep doing that. I don't know why I do that. Okay, I took the 18 damage in total, which is not, not, not bad. I mean, that works, right? In any situation where I need to protect someone, I just shoot up, shoot up, shoot up, shoot up, and take low damage. That's it. Let's see. Moonstone, gain two mana regen for each broken tile. This is really, it's not really worth it for me. Well, maybe when uh, certain, I mean, certain bosses do break tiles, so sometimes it may be useful. There's mini thunder. Thunder hits four tiles away. Not there for me. Zenith, delayed explosion. You can hit current tile, or on current tile rather. It is a current tile. Weird attack, you know, because on the preview, it just keeps hitting yourself. I'm hitting yourself. I'm hitting yourself, Saffron. She's gonna die in the preview. Bleh, dead. I lost the game. <laughs> and he's playing caster spell on the other slide and consume it. Mm. Probably even every specific deck where you like you want to consume everything. But no, nothing good for me. Level up. Give me a good artifact, please. Oh, okay. Mm. 
A gun that fires every second restores mana when it kills something. Mm. Next mana. How much damage does a soul gun do? Maybe it's just extra damage. That, that's just extra DPS. Now, Saigon armor also is pretty interesting because it increases your defense but increases shuffle time. Which is not great because I want to keep shuffling to get more shield and more damage. Next mana might be useful. I think I'm gonna take soul. I never took soul gun before. I think this is a card I unlocked pretty early. Or not early, but pretty late rather. Or the last time I played, anyway, is when I unlocked this. So I never used it before. Is it more damage? I think. The gun that fires every second, yeah. I'm gonna try it out. Soul gun. Oh, okay, it's a summon. Alright. I mean, it's not that useful to be honest. Because it can, it can get destroyed, is the problem. I was hoping it would, like, just uh, augment my normal attack. But the but this type of god, you know, it just shoots and then probably it'll just die, you know, once we fight a boss or something. So it's not that useful. Eh, oh well. Again, another criticism. Sometimes again, it just never sometimes it's just never useful. I want long-term benefits, you know? I guess this is the way I play though. Give me some health. There you go. A lot of maximum health, because I keep saving people, I guess. Let's see, higher gun? Mm -hmm. Hit self? Oh, hit self with 5 damage. A lot of the spells you hit yourself with. Uh, Earth and armor. Hmm, gives me more shield, but it breaks the tiles. I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to skip that. I do have some things that give you extra be benefits for broken tiles, but... I don't really want to do it, because I tried this before. I put, it, I put Earth and armor on my shield deck before. But the problem is when the, when the cracks, you know, obviously. I mean, I guess if you do it in a safe spot, but still, it's risky because you might end up in a situation where you get stuck because of your, you know, the cracks that you made in your own tiles. I mean, that's the consequence, you know. You do get flow though. I do have some benefits. Mm -hmm. It gives you flow, which normally doesn't do anything by itself, but it interacts with artifacts and certain spells. I don't have spells that use flow, but I do have an artifact, so like the harpoon, for example, that you do more damage. But you lose flow though, because when you use a spell, when you use any kind of spell, you lose flow. And I am spamming a lot of like shields, so I'm, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip. It's a hard decision. I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip. Forty armor. I don't think he's use it, uh, useful right now. I have plenty of armor. I feel like. Again, what I do want though is the armor, the one that, or not armor. I got a shield, not armor. But I want the the shield, the the spell that gives you a lot of shield at once. That one's pretty good. Anyway, campfire. I don't really need it because I'm actually at maximum health actually. And one more enemy. Let's see. Oh, I, I hate that, like, triangle thing. I, I guess I killed it, so it doesn't matter. But the triangle enemy, it kind of, like, teleports every time you hit him. Well, not hit him, but, like, hit him with a spell, I guess. So you, you always miss it <laughs> if you're using a spell. Uh, let's see, poison dart, not useful right now. Whoop rays, hit adjacent rolls, teleport tiles or random tiles. Mm. I mean, not that great for me right now. Cold snap, not doing a frost deck. We're moving on. You know, again, just moving on. Level 7. We're on the fourth stage. Ah, I, uh, there's always a wall, especially my worst boss. I, <laughs> I, uh, I specifically chose him. But this might be a horrible idea. I don't know. Ay 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 ay. Just do something. Just I don't know. Ah shit. Mines. I hate the mines. Ah. Ay ay ay. I never notice when he does that because I'm not paying attention to what he does sometimes. I'm looking at where I am because I gotta look at these mines, right? I guess I don't have to. Okay. Go up there. I never. I guess, okay, you gotta pay attention to when he throws the. It's hard though, right? Because I can't, I can't tell. Damn it. I missed the thing. Okay, he goes, it goes like that. <laughs> this is the commentary. You can tell it slowly dwindles the farther you go in, in like this kind of game. Okay, and then you dodge like that. 
Get rid of the mines, please. One more shield. Oh, ah, damn it. That was in a good spot. Okay. Mm -hmm. More shield, please. This one is not too hard to dodge. It was pretty, pretty tricky. Ah, oh, I got hit anyway. But it was pretty tricky the first time because it's hard to tell where, where his, like, his, um, gun is shooting, you know? So it, 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 I mean, it looks like it shoots, uh, uh, more up than you think, right? Like this, 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 uh, this move. But actually, you gotta look at the yellow tiles. Still got hit, though. I hate this move, by the way. I don't know how you dodge. I mean, I guess, did I dodge it there? I don't know. Like, time slows down, I guess. But it's hard to tell. I'm stuck. <laughs> oh, that was a, that was not great. I hate this move. I mean, obviously, you just put bombs in your your area, and then what do you do? What do you do here? Wait, you can't dodge that either because you're stuck there. I don't know, man. I hate this guy. I hate this guy so much. Maybe you're supposed to hit the bombs for. Can move fast there, maybe? Okay, you gotta be more proactive with that. Ah, oh, I lost all my shields. Oops. Ah, I got- 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 Nope, missed my shield. Give me my shields back. Give me my shields back, I don't- whatever. Do damage. I hate this guy so much. I'm tempted to kill him, but I don't want to. I don't want to kill him. I'll do, I'm, I need the heal more than I knew the- than I- than I do the revenge, so... Let's gonna move on. There's another guy though that's even harder. I feel like maybe maybe as hard really. His name is Shiso, and it's him right now. I think it is. Yeah, it is Shiso. I hate him so much. I hate. I hate. I basically just hate the guys in this game. I don't know. I'm just very sexist, I guess. I don't know. Anyway. Ah. Oh, I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. I'm stuck. Oh well. I'll just heal up, baby. Because, uh, well, I didn't explain it, but the crystal there, with the, the little triangles, you know, it basically activates every time you move. And obviously you have to move to avoid that, you know, that poison thing. So it's kind of hard to, like, think about how to move, because every time you move, it activates the trinity thing, and when it hits three, you know, it does the laser. Not great. When it's by itself, you know, it's not so bad, but... Let's see. Converter shots from a circle four tiles away. My piercing shine. Mm. You know, shine. I guess it does. Well, if you hit it with all of it, I guess it does thirty times eight. Um, how much is that? I can't do math. It's like one. Bleh, bleh, bleh. Is it like hundred and eighty or? No, that's not right. I can't do math. You can't tell me to do math right on stream. Um, it's like two hundred and forty damage, right? Around. I guess 240 damage in total. Which is a lot, I guess. Might be worth- mm, You gotta hit with all of it though, so it's a hard hit thing to hit with. But it's a lot of damage, especially with like, extra spell power. Hmm, might be worth it. I don't know, it uses a lot of my mana all at once. It does a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Let's preload again for shuffle time. Assuming my math is correct, well, it's like basically three times eight, plus a zero, right? So I gotta I can't do math. I don't know how to do math. It's the twenty-four, it's two hundred forty. That's a lot of damage. All right, I'm taking it. As long as you hit with it, I guess it does a lot of damage. You gotta hit it in the middle. All right, more distress signals. Yep, more distress signals. Like shields, please. Mm, took some damage there, it's not great, but oh well. Let's see, poison? No. It gives you shield though, but I don't know how we want it. Mini thunder? Yeah, it's weak thunder. The detox? Damage them from double their poison and then remove their poison. Interesting. Oh. Maple soap? Lemon juice? Yeah, cayenne pepper and water. What does that create? I don't know. Is that like a... Probably another meme of some sort. I don't know. 
Maybe not. Maybe it's just detox. Ah. I, I, well, when I've heard of detox, I mean, I'm not an expert, but detox is, is such a misused phrase, I think. You know, like most people don't need detox, but a lot of marketing material always, you know, says this thing, you know, detoxes you, even though nobody knows what it means, really. People assume it's healthy, but actually, if you detox too much, it actually makes you more sick, you know, if you don't need it. So, I don't know. Anyway. That's what, at least that's what I know. I'm not a doctor, so I might be wrong about that. So take my word with uh, a pinch of salt. Anyway. Let's see, own oh, cactus and a dog. I mean, dog isn't- oh, I was gonna say, I, th I thought that rock was gonna block the dog, never mind. Oh, well. Revenge. I'm gonna take this slow, because I don't want to get that more damage. Because the, the cactus, you know, is actually helping me because it's blocking the way, but the cactus only attacks if you attack it, basically. So if I avoid it, be careful, I can take less damage, even though I already took damage, though. Ooh, here's a shine thing. Oop. And take my time killing this cactus. Oh, I should have done that. I should have went out of the way. Oop. Every time you shoot it, you know... It shoots back. So just just be careful about that. Let's see. Diamond ring. While in cast log, gain four shield every second. That's interesting. It limits your selections though, because you want to keep it in your slot. But it gives you a shield. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm taking it. I'm just stacking all the shields. I want more shields. Let's see. Health? When you shuffle, gain two floor, the enemies leave a flame behind. I feel like, I don't know, I mean, these are long-term benefits, but... I mean, the when an enemy dies, usually not worth it because, you know... The hard part is often the bosses, not the minions. So I guess it depends on the minions. Or the mobs, I guess. So leaving, like, a dead enemy is usually dead enemies, you know... When you're fighting a boss, you're not killing a bunch of mobs. Usually. Some some bosses have a lot of mobs, but I know for Shiso, he doesn't summon any mobs, so it's not really useful for me right now. A rock tumbler, I don't really need flow. I'm thinking about taking a health, you know? Usually, I mean, in a lot of games, especially roguelikes, just taking health doesn't seem all that great. But health is pretty important, so I'm taking it. I need it, so. I need as much health as I can. The more health you got, the more mistakes you can do, basically. Like that. Ah, stop it. Ah, I hate this. No! He's dead. Now it's just this thing, this tentacle thing. In fact, I could just wait here all day, you know, get infinite shield. I could just stand here, you know. In fact, that's probably that's that's the strat. I'm just gonna stand here. It's riveting gameplay, but I'm just gonna stand here until I get enough shields. I had to shuffle though, so I'll wait. Do, 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 do. Because when I have enough shields, I can just one-shot it. Um, how is it like? Okay, it, it does that. I mean, the more hits you do, the more it does that. Mm, mm, okay, well, this is taking too long. Okay, fine. Alright, alright. Alright, all right. All right, let's see. Oh, I don't have the shield throw. I can't do this, though. Oh, this is, oh yeah, okay, I didn't get hit by it yet. Uh, this says 240. Go up, whoop, like that. Okay, here's the shield throw. That means it already has 4 HP anyway, but... Oop, there you go. And it does, again, shield throw does a lot of damage if you stack a lot of shield. Oh, here's limit break. It's an interesting, uh, interesting attack. It's 4 tiles away. If you have fragile, hit on the cross. Lose 1 max mana for 20 seconds, and mana cost equal to your max mana. Hmm. Yeah, basically, you know, it's a limit break. There's a lot of damage, I imagine. This is a 10 times 40. That's around 400, right? Yeah, 400, which is a lot. But, you know, these type of moves, I don't really love because they you have to stand there, right, for a long time. Because when you move, yeah, you see there in the preview, you also, when you move, the spell also moves. So you have to stay on target if you want all your shots to hit. And that seems too risky for me, you know? Usually you don't want to stand still. You want to keep moving. Unless you're in a very prime opportunity, but I don't know. I don't, I don't feel like it's worth it. 
maybe it depends. Maybe if there's like certain bosses where they stand still for a long time, you know, after they use their attack, then you use the limit break, do a ton of damage, maybe. But I don't know. Especially because I have I have, have three mana. A lot of my cards cost three mana. It's it doesn't seem worth it for me. I probably need like you know probably in a, a deck where we have more max mana and uh, limit break might be more worth it, but not for me. Now kunai is. I don't need kunais, and swords fall in front of the row for for uh, for in front and in route for three seconds. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Can't speak. Um, yeah, not useful for me. Might be useful for like a combo maybe, because you, you know you make them stuck in a row, but uh, not for me. Let's move on. Oh, gunner, right there. What are you gonna give me? Uh, give me a little bit of health. Thanks, Nancy Gunner. Even though I hate your guts, at least you gave me some health. Let me move on to a hazard. Oh god, I don't like this. It's the missile thing again. Ah, uh, god, no. Uh, I don't do the shining thing because I might hit the. Whatever, just do it. Just do that. I don't know. Just use the skill. Ah, uh, I hate this. Cause I gotta kill the dogs. Now I gotta kill. Ah, whatever. Ah, shit. Okay, whatever. <laughs> that was horrible. Cause I, I, I well, I think, I think that was impossible. Cause I couldn't kill the cactus thing without it, you know, retaliating. And I would probably just kill the hostage anyway. I couldn't save the hostage, unfortunately. I just accidentally killed her. Oh well. Cause I, I was panicking because I gotta kill them before. The missile hit down because once the Muslim missile hit down, it does a ton of damage. I think maybe 500 or 200 damage. I don't know, but I didn't want to stick around, you know. I, I, I it, it's happened to me once already, so I don't want it to happen. A very low health though. That was a lot of health gone. All right, no nope. iron cannon, not good for me. Fisher, crackle tiles, not good for me either right now. And flat earth, no, well, the tiles are flat. Hmm. Uh, gain shield for each broken tile. Not really a broken tile focused deck. The shield's nice, but you know. I don't want to make any broken tiles. And uh, oh, what's up, uh, Dan Wilburn's rating? Well, thank you very much. Thank you for, I guess, coming by. I, I appreciate it. I appreciate just random people just reading my stream. Thank you very much. I guess what's going on? Yeah, hello. I guess I'm just playing, you know, one step from Eden. I don't know if you were playing this game, but. You know, this thing's pretty good so far. So pretty new to it. I mean, I I've played a few hours already, but this is the first time I streamed it. Um, how far am I in, actually? I think I'm halfway. Yeah, I'm fighting the Shisho. Or Shiso? Shiso. Oh god, this is gonna suck. Because I hate Shiso so much. This is, I'm probably, this is it. This is probably it. This is the end of the run. Uh, actually, you're playing Battle Network too. Oh, okay, you're playing the Mega Man game. The original Mega Man. Yeah, this, well... Is this a spiritual successor? I wouldn't say it's a successor necessarily, it's more so it ha it's inspired, you know, especially the combat part and everything. The story is not really there, I feel like. It's definitely like a roguelike kind of story where it's kind of all implied, you know, there's no like cutscenes or anything really. It's mainly just the gameplay itself that's inspired by Battle Network, I think. At least from what I've seen anyway. But, uh, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die soon. <laughs> Probably what's gonna happen. Oh god. I hate this guy so much. I hate this boss. I, uh, this is a, by the way, this is a hard game. This is a really hard game. I was like, you know, doing pretty well early on, but you know, halfway through, you're... I don't know. I feel like for most people, this is when the, the, end, the run ends. At least for me, anyway. Heal up. I hate... Ah, uh, I hate that. If he, 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 like, he throws a bunch of traps on the ground, you get stuck in it, then he does a lot of damage, obviously. Oh, no, that missed. Eh, okay. No. It's very action- I don't know how fast Mega Man was. Because, to be honest, I, I never really played the original Battle Network. I know, I know more about the anime than I do the actual game. But, it seems like this game also is pretty fast-paced. In fact, there's a lot of people complaining about how fast it is, actually. Because, uh, how hard, how hard it is. I mean, I still want to beat it, even though... Let's see, let me just get the shield. More shield, please. More shield. You know, what he does, by the way, this guy, this freaking guy, he puts jams in your decks. Which is, I mean, it's great if you have jams, I guess. 
If you're like a, have a, like a jam deck, it's basically like just useless cards in your deck. There's certain cards that actually you will benefit from that, but for most builds though, you will not benefit from jams. You will die because of jams. Freaking, I have to shuffle my cards because of that. I hate this guy! Uh, you're gonna lurk? Okay, yeah, good. I love lurkers. I don't mind lurkers. Do, 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 do. Well, no, 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 this is probably... No. I hate that. Okay. Should have done that better. Uh, I have one resurrection, though, so I'm not dead. Oh, in fact, probably my friend helped me, actually, because I saved her last time. Or at least I spared her, anyway, and save her. I was the one saving her from myself, actually. Oh, God. That one go up and down, up and down. I have jams on my deck, gonna shuffle again. You can also use the jams, but, you know, the waste is mana, so... And sometimes not worth it. I don't know, it's, it, it really is destroying my deck. This guy hit too much. Ah! This is it, this is it, this is it, this is it. Oh my god, oh my god. No! No, I can't end like this! I hate you so much, Issa. Alright, well, I have one resurrection, I guess. At least, we'll get... We'll learn to get better, maybe. I want to see more of his patterns. Maybe I'll get better. Hmm. Ah, what? I still got hit by the thing. You know, that's basically my commentary, by the way, at this point. This is it. This is just me. Just yelling. Oh my god, what? Nope. Shields, please. Freaking jams. I don't want these jams. Come on and slam. Welcome to the jam. Dodge, dodge, dodge. I mean, he hits the cross. Gotta remember that. Mm, I missed. Oh, but I have revenge. Nope, it didn't work. Oh well. Need one more. Okay, I got him. <sighs> Alright, okay, this is the first time I beat him on like tier 4, I think. That's what it is, right? When you like. That's basically the hardest version of the boss. I think, or, well, probably not the, the hardest, but at least in a normal run. And obviously you can murder him, and I really want to just shoot him in the face, but obviously I would not do that, because I gotta move on. And I think this is the farthest I've ever gotten, yeah. But this is it. It's gonna, gonna get even harder from here. This is not, this is like unknown territory for me. Oh god. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Get up my shield, please. I would like to mitigate the damage. Getting more and more shields so I don't have to like take more damage. Or unnecessary damage, anyway. They keep hiding behind that enemy, though. You know, the, the enemy that is like this little snake thing? If you hit it, or kill it, you know, then you... I don't know, I have to hit it, I guess. If you, if you destroy it, it'll, the snake thing will come out and... Ow, 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 ow! Nope. That was a horrible idea. I should have stood there. Let's just shuffle. Let's just shuffle. I'll get rid of at least one of these guys, please. Come on. Fight me, coward. Da 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 da. Okay, good. Now it's just this thing. Just the thing. The thing is just shooting uh, pillars on my side of the field. Which, I don't know. Do I have any way of destroying it? Um, I gotta shuffle, I guess. I don't want to waste my shield. I have lightning. Let me move this thing over. Lightning. Have that. A shine. Okay, wait. I gotta be in position though. Stop blocking my way. Okay, okay do that. All right, there we go. Not perfect, but I guess we'll move on. I mean, I already used up a lot of my stuff. You know, my resurrection. My friend helped me. At this point, is you know, live or die. I think the poison dart is not useful right now. You say that, you know, that's basically the rest of the playthrough is going to be, oh, this poison, not useful. Undertow? No, nope, not useful. I also, when I, when I say Undertow, I just think of Undertale. Glassify? No, not useful for me. So, oh, move on. I feel like there's, there's still one more Phalanx card, you know, the shield cards I'm missing. That'll be one more that I can get, can't I? Let's see. The stress over there, or over here. I guess I'll try the stress. 
Let's see. Oh my uh this this one. I hate this one. Um I, mean, I guess I can just do this, but yeah, that, that I couldn't help her. I didn't have any cars that would hit behind her. That's I, I well, those are the ones where the enemies are hiding behind hostages. It's very hard to kill them unless you have very specific cards that shoot, you know, at a specific direction. I have a lot of cards that shoot like uh, horizontal that will ob obviously hit the the hostile or the hostage, which I don't want. Let's see, time slow. Hmm, interesting. Zero, one cost though. Here's a shield. This is a very little shield. Uh, I believe this is a weapon, like, by default, if you have a... if you use um, a different loadout for Saffron. Hmm... I mean, it might be useful, but it's very much utility-based, I guess. Firestorm... I mean, I can't even use it because it's four cost, so... There's deck slap, right? That's one if you have a very big deck, I guess. You have a big deck. Big deck. Big deck. Um, there's not a way for me. Time slow. Hmm. I'm I'm I'm, dis I'm deciding. Time slow. Time slow. Time slow. Time slow. Like slow. Maybe not because I already have like a because I'm thinking like I already have this card where it regenerates shields and that's usually where I want to keep my slot because if I want to keep time slow, I usually want to keep it, you know, in my slots when I need it, right? When the boss uses like a interesting attack that I can't really that was hard to dodge. But I already have another card where I usually like to keep my slot anyway, so yeah, time slow is not really useful for me. I already have utility. Again, you don't you don't want to bloat your deck, I feel like. If you have too much cards then you get confused, you know, which cards you need to use in certain situations, I feel like. You gotta keep it simple. You just rest. Oop. Now let me just shine like that. Just kill this box. This box thing appears to infinitely spawn enemies, so I gotta get rid of that first. If possible. Get rid of you. Stop it. Stop it. Stop doing your weird projectiles. Alright, bomb toss. Oh, you throw a bomb. Okay. Iron will. Again, the weird thing where it does a lot of damage, gives them a shield. Or steel skin, gain 40 defense for 3 seconds. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, 40 defense reduces damage at 1 per defense, so that's about... This is double cast as well, so it gives that's the bonus. So that gives you basically around 80 defense. Is that worth it? 80 defense? For 3 seconds? Hmm... Maybe. I mean, anything that mitigates damage is good, I feel like. Mm, I'm gonna take it. Yeah, in, in a situation where I'm gonna use it anyway, it's good to like have it available in case I get hit. I might as well get max mana. Oh, I didn't check the other ones, but I feel like the other ones aren't really worth it. Alright, where do we go now? I guess this is the best way. Yeah, just fight the mini boss. I have a lot of money I haven't used yet. <laughs> Let's see. I can't really use that though. Use it anyway. Get out of the way. Heal up, please. Whoop. I'm taking a lot of unnecessary damage. What? Oh my god. Okay, I guess this is it. This is my run. You know, I lose to just random mobs, I guess. That is it. That's my run. Not what I thought would happen. As I tried to kill the one from... I tried to kill the mob right at the bottom right. So I was really focused on that. I didn't realize I was taking so much damage from the other enemies. That was it. That's the run. Oh my god. We got one skip from Ed from Eden. I think it was like two more levels, maybe. Something like that. Because that's the name of the game. So when, you know, for example, if you die really early on, it says one mile from Eden. But I've got little one skip from Eden. Just one skip and a hop from Eden. We almost got there. But we did not, unfortunately. Oh well. I guess that's it. That's my run. Run time. 94 minutes. 41 seconds. And, or, I say enough? 94 minutes and 41 seconds and 18 milliseconds i don't know i don't know how to read this i assume i mean it's been about yeah an hour and a half that's a pretty long run actually i got pretty far i feel like because of that shield build i didn't realize my first run at least on stream would take so long but there you go got pretty far i mean that was the farthest i've got that was my high score so you know nothing to be ashamed about that i feel like
It would be nice to win, obviously, but I feel like that's not an easy thing to do. Especially if you're just really new to this game. I imagine maybe if you're like a Mega Man Battle Network veteran, maybe you'll be pretty good at this game as well. But I'm not, so... Yeah, and the only experience I have, like, real, especially like real-time, like, uh, real-time uh, card-based combat, the only one I know of is, like, Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, right? So, that's my only experience. Everything else is, like, I feel like it's not very, it's not very, um, popular genre, you know? But there probably is games that are pretty similar, maybe, that I haven't heard of. Anyway, some new, like, I guess, stuff you can use for your future runs. I mean, that's the roguelike part. I mean, additional roguelike thing about this game. The more you play, the more cards you get, I guess. The more variety you can add to your run. Because I feel like at the beginning, you know, maybe in the beginning, I mean, it still is, but like, um, the cards you get in this game, pretty small, you know, it's not a big pool, but maybe once you unlock more, it gets more and more complicated and bigger. I mean, that's the reason why I feel small in the beginning. Anyway, Tuxin should shall apply 700 poison. Okay, that's for poison deck. Uh, gain random effects. So sorry, battle. Hmm. Game five spell power shield decays slowly. Okay, if you don't, well, Thorn's pretty good if you don't use shield anyway, right? And Dark Frog, more poison. Ghetto Ghetto, Ghetto Ghetto. Well, in Japanese, it's actually Ghetto Ghetto. You know, it's Ghetto Ghetto, not Ghetto Ghetto. It's uh, uh, that's inaccurate unless it's a reference to something else, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, 